we're taking a two-up trip, my wife and I are, and I promised y'all that I would show you how we packed it out. What's up? Jim here. Welcome back to J Street Moto. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share it with your friends. All that stuff's free to you and it helps the channel. We are only going on a weekend trip. So literally we are only packing for, today is Thursday. We are leaving tomorrow morning. We are packing for Saturday and Sunday, basically. Plus, you know, the stuff you need to spend the night in two different locations. It's supposed to rain this whole freaking weekend. We are looking at a forecast of rain. So David's wife decided, I don't want to deal with that. So she's going to drive their Jeep, which is actually a good thing because that gives my wife options. It also, I'm kind of thankful it's happening because it gives me the option of bringing my full helmet as well as the half. Because with the wife on the back, I really wasn't gonna bring either of our full helmets. It, it just, it didn't make sense. And, and I had no way to pack them. David and I have chosen to ride. It's up to Anne Marie as to how much she is going to ride with us. Let me show you what we're packing. I've got my riding clothes, basically. I've got my toiletry kit. I've got a long sleeve t-shirt because it's gonna be cool one of the mornings that we wake up because we're gonna be in the mountains. I've got a pair of jeans that I'm not gonna be riding in. And I've got kind of a dressier shirt to wear when we go out to dinner those two nights, Friday night and Saturday night. My wife, this is what she is packing. This is her riding clothes and her, uh, you know, pajamas and stuff she wants to go out in the evening, etc. I do have to give props to the wife. She's bringing a lot less than I expected her to bring. So I will give her kudos for that. She's also bringing an extra pair of shoes because she doesn't want to wear her riding boots. I'm gonna be riding in my vans and I figure I can wear those the whole freaking time that I'm out, right? So, yeah. Um, she's bringing an extra pair of shoes and then of course you've got hair dryer and uh, what the hell is that called? Curling iron. That's what she's bringing. Plus her toiletry kit, which isn't out here yet, but it's about the size of the one that I have. What's up? Uh, today's the day that we're gonna take our first like overnight weekend two up motorcycle trip. And uh, bike's packed. There she is, I'm using that Kimimoto 50 liter waterproof motorcycle tail bag. David and Desi are on their way here for us to be able to leave. I'll be recording video throughout the day. See you soon.
That's our view. That's why it's called the Smoky Mountains, guys. Sorry, but it's gonna be like this sometimes. And yes, it's raining. I don't know if I can see the girls from here. I cannot, they're over there. It's wet, but we missed it, so good to us. I'm setting up the grill. Getting ready to cook some steaks. Desi has done her magic with some baked potatoes that are going to be, I'm sure, fantastic. And unlike Canada, I'm not giving you an MTV Tours crib, or Cribs Tour, yeah, of this place. But it's cool. It really is. If the rain stops, we might be out there later tonight at a fire pit. We'll see. We got an early morning because tomorrow we do the whole reason that we came out here. We go out and do the railway thing. It's also Desi's birthday. So, you know, drop a comment. Wish Desi a happy birthday. See y'all soon. There are the girls. David Spike is the furthest away from us. That's Angry Black Betty. And then Fia is right there, closer to us. Um, see that driveway right there? It's like a half a mile curvy road in the mountains going uphill to get here over loose gravel. Not my thing. I fucking hate it. Oops, sorry. I'm not supposed to use that word. I'll beep it out. Um, Because I got a viewer who watches my channel with his fosters there's foster kids and and they enjoy it too so if y'all are watching this drop a comment and tell me hey um but yeah tomorrow morning i think i'm gonna be i think it'll be easier getting out of here in the morning than it was coming up here tonight we'll see it's raining currently and i don't know how much mud's gonna be on this you know road but this was the only place that desi found that did not mention that you know it's going to be difficult to get here on two wheels and so it's funny that we ended up picking this place but it's a cool freaking house i'm telling you it's a cool house so and we're in bryson city tomorrow we go do the we go to andrews north carolina to do that train track thing and i'll video that for y'all What's this place called? Andrew Valley Rail. We're at Andrew Valley Rail. It rained on us this morning. So I am really thankful he was in the car. David and I are all geared up in rain gear, which worked out well because it's supposed to rain while we're on these little carts. This place is pretty cool. It has a pretty cool concept. It's as far as it's pedal down the train track. I think it takes a couple hours, so I figured I'd bring the camera along and video what we see. Dude, this is the second season. Yeah, We're paddling.
Hey there, you sexy thing. not using this music as any artistic thing so don't gig me on it but yeah this is pretty freaking cool this place is pretty cool i gotta get that do it all so we got this what's the name of it entre new entre new ready so, yep we're gonna speak easy and uh up so we're home from our trip we just made it in uh, there's how I had the bike loaded out for the last leg of our trip uh, Amory did great she really did but I'm glad that Desi brought her Jeep with her because um there were a lot of that due to weather we needed to be going the quickest way to get from point A to point B and my wife is not a big fan of riding, you know, above about 55, 60 miles an hour. And, and you know, that's just, it's a preference thing for her. And most of the time we were having to do around 80. So, because we were on interstates and you know, 60 on an interstate when the speed limit's 75, you're going to get run over. So, um, yeah, it was a very good trip. We had a lot of fun. I'll put a link to the uh, information for the Andrews rail thing that we did uh, down in the description below because that was a really cool thing and Andrews was a really cool town for those of you watching that might want to ever go up towards Deals Gap ride the tail of the dragon ride the rattler ride uh, get on Cherahol Skyway um, Andrews is a pretty cool little small town with a lot of good restaurants and bars and Airbnbs around it. And it's only about, I'd say 15 minutes from the tail of the dragon. 
So just keep that in mind when you're, if you're not familiar with North Carolina, you're not familiar with this state, um, I'll throw that little tip out there for you. When we ride the tail of the dragon later this year, that's where we're gonna stay. We talked about it on our way here. So um, come back when we do that video and I'll have, uh, I'll have information about where we stayed. So thanks for watching. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share it with your friends. All that stuff's free to you and helps the channel. We're at close to like, I think 870 subscribers right now. So we're getting very close to that thousand mark. But thanks for watching. Always ride safe. Yeah, right? One, two, three, shoot. Ah. Asshole. Really? <laughs> Peace out, bitches! <laughs>